It's the weekly reset for Destiny 2, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, like always, we're going to start with the milestones first. We have Crucible Challenges, which you need to complete three challenges in the Crucible. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and Other World Activities. This week's Nightfall is the Arms Dealers. Modifiers on this are Prism, which attacks matching the periodically rotating focus element do more damage. Other elemental damage is reduced. Incoming damage is unaffected. And then we have Time Warp Killing Time, which we have to defeat enemies to extend the mission timer up to a limit. As for time durations, we have 10 minutes and 58 seconds on normal, as well as 6 minutes and 58 seconds on prestige. Next, we have Leviathan, which you need to beat the Leviathan or the Eater of World Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you need to participate in Crucible matches. Flashpoint this week is on the EDZ, which you need to complete public events on the EDZ. And if you do heroic versions of these, then you can get it done a lot faster. And then we have, last but not least, the Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. So, let's see what Tess Everest has this week at Eververse. For our emotes, we have Gallop. Welcome, Guardian. As well as Bureaucratic Walk. This used to be broken. For our Sparrows, we have Tropodon 5. Just another reskin. For the ships, we have Ikora's Resolve. Not gonna lie, Ikora's ship looks pretty badass. It definitely could use different colors though, because this just looks terrible. Then we have the Comstock Load for the Prospector. This is what it looked like. As well as the mine of its own for the Darcy, the infamous Darcy that nobody likes. Next, we have Omega Mechano's cloak for the armor of the week. As for the ghost shell, we have the Flaming Arrow Shell. Yep, that looks like a flamer. Then we have Arc Effects for the Transmat Effect. As for the Shaders, we have the Suros Modular Shine. as well as the Tarnished Copper, which I think looks retarded. And then we have your wonderful Fire Team Medallion, and your Gleaming Boot of the Vanguard, and your Gleaming Boot of the Crucible. Don't forget to visit K6 in order to get the treasure maps for this week, and they are on the EDZ, so by all means go ahead and grab those bad boys right there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.